Hey Fay Bays, thank you so much for returning. Queen Pearl here, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you and invite you to pick up this book, which is the Fairy Handbook. And it comes from the Fairy Magazine, the editors of Fairy Magazine. This book retails for $20. I picked it up at Amazon.com and this book is gorgeous. This <laughs> book is probably my newest favorite fairy book. The immortals have captured everything perfectly in this book. It's just, it's gorgeous. I love the format of it. Uh, look at how thick it is. And it has silver lining on the edges so that's very gorgeous and it has a bookmark as well just look at the cover isn't that just so gorgeous anyway the title reads the fairy handbook an enchanting compendium of literature lore art recipes and projects now what enticed me to get this book which was the recipes and projects because I know most of the fairy art it's nice to have everything in one book here like all of the classics it's that's very nice I, I do like that but I was so intrigued with the recipes like I want to know and well when you first open up you get this page here which has like these procade art which is so stunning and this is the opening. I don't want to show you too much because I really do want you to pick this book up. But the reason why I do enjoy this book so very much, and I'm going to show you this. Like I said, it is the recipes that drew me to this book. What I find so interesting about this book is that it has a list of edible flowers. And I absolutely adore this picture here. It has lavender and an old iron scissor. And a cast iron scissor. And it gives you a list of edible flowers and what they taste like. And if you're weird like me, you enjoy eating flowers. Like, I am the only person that I know that eats the green leaves off of strawberries. Because sometimes they do taste very sweet. And it has different recipes like candied violets, which is really great. I guess you can just have them by yourself or by themselves. You don't have to. You don't have to eat them by yourselves. You can you can share them with friends and family. <laughs> but what I meant to say is you can, you know, eat them by themselves, or you could probably put them on top of cookies or cupcakes or cake. And it has flower lollipops, which have dried up flowers in them so that's really cool and this is one that I am so trying to recreate because not only do I love the star shape and I love the color lavender and I love the flower lavender um, so yeah this is lavender shortbread cookies so it gives you all the ingredients and how to make it just look at that picture is that picture not gorgeous? It works with my backdrop. <laughs> so it has a few more recipes in it. Um, so to me, that was already worth it. It was just so nice to see it. And it has fairy drinks, but that's more of like a history. It doesn't really give you recipes on drinks. And another thing that I love is a fairy tea party. As you all know, <laughs> I love having me a fairy tea party, as you saw in one of my last videos. Um, I also, if you come to the Texture Canna Renaissance Fair, we are skipping this year, um, but so 2019, you can attend my fairy tea party. Now, I do intend this for children, so, you know. If you do come, please let the children sit first, you know, because, you know, that's just, it's more for the children. But I do enjoy having a fairy tea party and having more tips and ideas is so helpful. 
so that was a very pleasant surprise. So in the fairy tea party section, it has an additional recipe. So that was really delightful. And it also has fairy party tips, which I'll definitely be using. And it has very inspiring pictures. Like the pictures are just gorgeous in here. And it has art. I'm just gonna see. I haven't even seen this page yet. It's like I've had this book for a week, and every time I open it up, I find new stuff. Like through this book, I got introduced to the Mori Girls, the Children of the Forest, which that was something that was just really great. Um, how'd you know if you're a fairy girl? I'm gonna read some of them to you. Um, I'm not gonna read all of them because, like I said, I want you to own this book. This book is amazing. If I had my way, <laughs> I would do a giveaway, but sadly, everything in my life is currently not as magical as I am, so <laughs> I'm just going to have to make the best of it. But here are some of the list of rules from the Mori girls. How to know if you're a fairy girl. You wish on every star you see. You love glitter or anything shiny or iridescent. You fully embrace seasonal holidays, decorating from rafters to floorboards for Christmas, Halloween, spring equinox, and so on. The words once upon a time still make you giddy. You love to make gifts for all of your friends. Everyone asks you what shapes you see in the clouds. So that was a very interesting list. Um, it's something that, you know, you sit there and you're like, oh yeah, that's so me, that's so me, I'm a fairy. Of course I'm a fairy, I already know I'm a fairy, but it's just nice to know that there's other mortals out there that, you know, feel like they are a fairy as well. And it shows you how to press flowers. Flower. Here is the tip of the iceberg for fairy house architecture. Um, this book shows you different pictures of how to do little fairy houses. If, if you want to do that, like invite the fairies with that. Um, it also shows you how to make little fairy house furniture. And I'm just going to... Eh, come on. I'm just going to skim through this book with you so you can get a glimpse of what to expect when you buy this book. Let's start from the back. Like, look at all this. This book is just so pretty and so, oh, I don't even know. Like, here is the content. And this page, like this looks so pretty. I would like to frame that. The contents is part one, flora and fauna. Part two, fashion and beauty. Part three, arts and culture. Part four, home, food and entertainment. And then you got acknowledgement, resources, select, bibliography, photography, illustration, and credits. I said that word. My German is coming out. Credits, not credits. Ew. Alright, now, if you want to know a little bit about the author, they have it on the last page here. The author's name, and I hope I don't mispronounce this, is Carolyn Turgeon. She has been the editor-in-chief of Fairy Magazine since 2013, so congratulations to that, Miss Carolyn. That is amazing. And she also wrote five novels, which is Rain Village, Godmother, Mermaid, The Next Full Moon, and The Fairest of Them All. I have not read any of them, but I think I just might check them out after seeing this book. It has 240 pages. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So it is a very hefty book. Um, like I said, it's, it, it is bound very... <laughs> My German. It is bound very well so I really do enjoy that and it has the whole book has a nice flow like you know if if you if you just buy this book like I did for recipes you will still stop on other pages and be like oh this is fantastic you know it just 
just the whole flow of it is just a very it's perfection then it has traditional information in this book and it also has some I like to call it new love for the people that you know they grew up with fairy tales and then they discover fairies anew so you have a lot of new stuff like the fairy houses to me that is more new love you know so I think I think it's great how they captured all of that now the only downside to this book the very only downside is that um, one of the reasons I think I saw an advertisement it, it had like a section for fairy wings which it does have so that's not false advertising but I was hoping they would have like a big section of where you know like where to buy fairy wings like if, if, if you wanted more fairy wings it only has two fairy wing creators which is under the ivy and fancy fairy so that is a little bit like let's see I just want to check if there is any okay so it doesn't have a list of where to buy fairy wings it does have fairy festivals so that is very great now I currently live in the USA so there is not a whole lot of fairy fest going on I think there is like three yeah but anyway there's one listed for Germany too which to me was very exciting and of course it got founded in 2007 and I left Germany in 2009 <laughs> so I have not heard about this um, fairy fest, fame fest as they call it. Um, I wish I would have known. Um, one of the things I want to do very very badly is I want to go to New York Fairy Fest because not only do I want to go to the fairy fest and just dress up as a fairy and interact with everybody and buy a whole bunch of stuff, I also want to go to New York on just a very mere mortal experience. Um, so that is one of the things um, I might just save up to, um, to do and of course record it. But um, here in just a couple of weeks, um, my Ren Fair season starts. I am going to, the first one is going to be the Viking Fest in Hevenor, Oklahoma. That's going to be my first stop. And then from there, it's going to be Avalon, um, Scarborough, um, Castle of Muskogee. I can't remember what else, but we are getting off topic. Um, yeah, this is the book. And this book is the prettiest book you will ever have not only is the outside pretty the inside is pretty too so you know you can judge this book by its cover it is amazing I am so happy I got this book I almost don't want to I don't want to put it on a shelf I just want to like leave it on the coffee table where I can just look at it all the time this book is amazing and for $20 it's a steal. It is so worth every penny. And yeah, um, I hope you pick up this book and support Fairy Magazine. Or if you know somebody that would like some more fairy magic in their life, um, pick it up for them. I think this is a great book and Fairy Magazine, the editors, have outdone themselves. So thank you so much for bringing this fantastic book into this world for everybody to enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you have enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification button, and possibly even the comment button. <laughs> Tell me if you are going to buy this book or if you're going to buy it for somebody else. Um, um, let me know if you want if you want me to record a video of me trying some of the recipes because I am going to try at least two recipes from this book. Let me know if you want me to record that or show you the outcome of that. Yeah, just just let me know. <laughs> All right, bye.